Hello everybody, I'm sorry I've been away for a long time. This autumn has been one of the busiest that I've ever had at Future Primitive Soap. So I haven't really um, had the headspace to sit down. I could have just started filming, but I've hardly done any Instagram. I haven't done much TikTok and I certainly haven't focused on YouTube. So sorry about that, it's just been a bit busy, but I just thought I've got two batches of soap to make. So I thought I'll put the, put the camera, put the camera on so it's a little bit manic outside today and um, put the camera on and let's just film so I've got two batches I'm going to be making Rook and Raven which I don't think I've made on camera for maybe if well probably a number of years because it's just a one color soap it's a charcoal soap and I'm going to use some cornflower petals on the top and that's all I do with this one so you can watch me make that and we'll just have a chat and a catch up as I go along it's really more of a catch up really because it's been so long so um we'll talk about books I've been reading and films and series and things like that and I'll try and jot them down so I can try and remember all the things that I've watched recently. So I'm just going to get my oils. My lie is cool enough now, we can just get on and make this. So I'll just get everything ready and set you up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so since this one is just made with charcoal only, I'm gonna put my charcoal in first and I've just weighed it out into this bowl. So I'm gonna pull it into my oils before I add my lye because I don't want to end up with lumps. So I just wanna get that dispersed quickly. There's about three heaped teaspoons in there. It's just enough to give a nice exfoliation. So I'm going to pour my lye water in, which again I'm working with a 40% water discount. So it just means I take 40% of the normal required amount off the total. And just turn this light on a minute. Sorry, I'm finding it hard to see properly, so I hope that's not too bright for you. Okay, so I'm going to put the scent in. A not stick blend, just so it gives me more of a chance to get that poured before it thickens too quickly. So I'll just film it all from above so you can see properly. Okay, we've got a very light trace there, so I'm going to pour it just so we don't have any issues like I do sometimes with this one. So let's get it in first. You'll see it's thickened. Still a really nice consistency, but sometimes if I over stick blend, then this one just goes awry. So let's get it in there. So this time with this one, I'm making these um, taller bars. They're more like a tile. So rather than making the chunks that everybody loves, I know, I just wanted to make a batch where I get more bars because I'm going to use my inch cutter with this one, my tank cutter. It just um, means I get an extra, what is it? I think it's, um, I think it's nine, yeah, nine extra bars of soap if I use my inch cutter to do this. So as long as they're taller, they'll still be the right weight. So they're just more of a tile shape than a chunk shape. So as opposed to having 33 bars, this one gives me 42 bars, which is a big difference in money's worth and also just nice to have that extra Normally I'd make two batches, so I've got like, if I did this, it'd be like, obviously I'd have 84 bars. But just for filming purposes, I'm just gonna film the one batch. There you go, 
get you can see it's thickened quite a lot so this one I'm just going to do a bit of texture with my spoon just like this I'm not doing like anything too crazy it's just um to have a bit of texture underneath on the soap it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not cutting it if I was to do like um you know like in in from each side and do it that way I know I'm look it looks like I'm doing that but I'm not actually paying attention to where these uh spoon peaks are going because it doesn't matter that one back that way okay so I'm just going to put that back that way so it's even on the side sometimes it can drop down which we don't want okay so there's the texture done pretty much I just have to work fast with this one so now that's poured I've got to go get my cornflowers just got a few so what have I been watching I'll do this slowly because basically this batch is very quick to make so I have been watching a ton of stuff on ITVX which is a UK channel so don't watch too much TV and I certainly don't really put ITV on which is like one it used to be central TV but now it's called ITV um, so on the apps you can get ITV X and on there's just a ton of British crime dramas and things like that so I've been watching and catching up on a lot of those so I did the Yorkshire Ripper I mean none of these are very nice programs to watch but good for the autumn <laughs> um, yeah Yorkshire Ripper I did the Moors Murders um, I'm talking about this also nonchalantly. They're really horrible series, but actually very interesting. It makes you um, realise what happens. It's, it's good to see it dramatised. I watched the whole crazy story about the Shannon Matthews story about the lady who hid her own daughter and tried to claim money. Um, the Night Stalker of the UK, which was the guy that went round raping old people which was absolutely horrendous and trying to catch him which took I think 17 years and then I did um last night I watched Wicked Little Letters which was fantastic I hadn't seen that film before that was really good with Jessie Buckley in it she played a really good part and today I've just started watching Love on the Run jailbreak love on the run which is it looks like an absolute crazy story so I'm just getting into that before I started filming um, and then when I come back I'll try and remember to talk about which books I'm reading so that is a very quick batch of Rook and Raven so that's how it gets made as you can see it's very very quick um, and very easy so we'll be back to cut that one tomorrow and we'll carry on talking about uh, books and things. So if you've got anything you want to share, leave it in the comments and let me know what you're reading, what you're watching, anything you think I might like, I might have not have seen stuff. There's a lot on Netflix I've got to catch up on. So if you've seen some stuff, Netflix and Prime I've got and then pretty much all the free channels. So let me know and I will see you for the cut of this. Okay, back to cut Rook and Raven. So... I just mopped the floor, so I need to be very careful about um, not slipping over. So I'll keep you on this angle for a sec so you can see me chop the block into loaves. We've got Bridie here today. Bridie dog, she's got cataract on her eye, so she's going to She's got to go to an eye clinic next week, and they're going to see if they can remove it for her. Luckily, I got insurance, otherwise it costs two to three thousand pounds, which is not fun, but uh, the insurance apparently will cover that, so luckily that's not an issue to get it done. Okay, I'm going to go that way around. So, this is a plain soap. Just plain charcoal, plain black. 
Make my coffee. Oh yeah. Okay. Let's get that away from there a second. Okay, so these are going to be taller tile shaped soaps. Like the last batch of this I made actually. I made the last batch of Rook and Raven this way rather than making big chunks. So there's the inside. And then on the outside, I'm still, every time I make this soap, I seem to get this, it looks like leather. I don't know why that happens, actually. I've no idea why that happens, but one day I'll probably be able to figure it out. But I don't know if you can see on the end of this one here, pick up or not, but that's what this does for some reason. I don't know why. The thing about this one is it does make a mess because of all the bits on the top. Just give that a little paper. Okay, put that out of the way a sec. And a little bit of clean up. So I think I'll get another two bars out of that end piece. So we'll chop those into the size I want. So we end up with these massive chunks to start with, which I then chop into two bars. piece will be used for samples. So my sample sizes, they range from about an ounce to two ounces, depending on which one I'm cutting, but I'm just going to chop those now. So the samples, I sell these now on the website. I used to sell like sample packs, but now I just sell individual sample sizes of the bars of soap so you can choose whether you want a full size or a sample size it's just a lot easier for me to do it like that rather than keep wrapping up sample packs that I can't always do because I don't have all of them available so having sample sizes is fabulous okay so I'm not supposed to do two bars Might do one and then some samples. Yeah, I'll do it that way. Use those for samples, I think. So we'll chop those again, and that gives me more. Okay. Chop those in half. And in half again. Again. And again. Okay, that's those cut up. Now I just get the tank and we'll chop the loads into bars. Trusty old tank. I think I changed my links below because this company retired and they didn't sell their business on. I think a, I don't know, one person that wanted to buy it and they wouldn't sell, so they just shut shop. So you can't get anything from for craft's sake anymore, which is a shame. Um, I'll bring you in a bit so you can see get closer up to cut that one. Okay. So 
So I'm not going to show you a bit closer. There you go. You can see that leathery look that we've got on there. Very odd. I really don't know why it does it, but it does it. And I think that gives us samples as well. Or do we get 12 full bars? Maybe. That's what we do actually. So, one, two, so this comes out like this. And I'll give them all a trim up at the end. Hopefully that's improved a little bit. I'll just have to turn up the ISO on this camera again. Yesterday I had to turn it down because the exposure was too high. It's tricky in this room because I'm down an alleyway. So it doesn't always get the best light down here. some drag marks in there which I don't like from the petals but it's the easiest way to chop this one up because it just is. I'll try, I'll try and do it a different way so I look. There's a lot of petals. Now we're near the end. I would normally do this so we don't get drag marks. Let's have a go see if I can get it better. Have to be careful, sometimes it bends the soap, and I don't want that. Oh, we're alright, we're all right. it's a heavier block. There we go. Okay, so now we haven't got drag marks. <laughs> it's still pretty dark on that camera. I can always turn it up when I edit the video. It's nice to have some time to be filming again. It's been a long time. So what do we get there? We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's 36, 37, 38, 39 this time. Normally I'd get 42, but I just uh, cut more samples up, so that's okay. It's always best to have some samples in because people like to try before they buy full size. And also, then they get to try loads of different ones if you've got lots of sample sizes available. So I've got to buy in some blank labels so I can do the sample labels myself. I just use like a um, craft label, brown craft paper labels. And I just print them on my laser printer. It's a lot cheaper than getting them all printed just for samples. It's not worth having all of those printed as well. Sometimes it is, I do sometimes do that, but um, you know, sometimes you're making little random batches. It's nice to be able to just do them yourself. And they look lovely actually, the craft label, as long as the design's okay. Let's pop that back. And I'll have to do some trimming on these. And I'll be back for the next video, which is witch cake. That's the one I've made next. So I'll be back for the making of that one shortly. And I'm using some grumpy pumpkin faces on that one. I've just done a post on my Instagram, so you've probably seen it already if you follow me on there. If you don't, then come and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. That's all links are below. So I'll see you soon. Ta-ta.